What's up YouTube, Jetforth here, and today we have a pretty fun and kinda overpowered skill build involving Riot Foam. Riot Foam? What? I thought that was the biggest piece of junk skill ever. Well, apparently it's not. I honestly believe that this may have been stealth buff because I was never able to get this thing working for more than a second, no matter what mod I put on it or anything. It was just honestly trash. I'm pretty sure you guys probably tried it too. Along with PVE testing, I also did some PVP testing and it also worked pretty well in there. Now, when I was testing it in PVP, I only had like half of the build ready and I had my friend helping me out which was pretty hard because I'm sorry but you PvP guys you guys are bullies and a half look at this guy my own friend can't even keep his freaking happy little fingers off the trigger for like two minutes come on chrono either way this is very viable in PvP and can be an incredibly big nuisance especially next week when you will be able to use this build in all of PvP as opposed to just in the ODZ and if this build actually does catch on in there you will make it so that they will have to waste a talent slot to have resist and snare weakening their builds which is also a lot of fun sorry pvp players now there is a lot to this build and i will do my best to explain it as we go along but i want to shut up now but look at this christmas tree light up when all your perks are going it's beautiful oh and this build comes with nearly instantaneous healing better than safeguard pretty much never ending foam and a ton of special ammo and specialization ammo as well like comment subscribe and all that junk I fixed my Twitter link down below because yeah I'm dumb let's just get into the build I'm done I'm shutting up I promise for our specialization we will be using survivalist mainly for the incendiary incendiary mainly for the fire grenades because apparently I can't say incendiary today as well as the explosive bolt acquisition enemies killed under status effect may drop a crossbow bolts because we will be killing a lot of enemies under status effect also for the 15% increase to assault rifle damage which are getting a buff in PvP I believe it was 1.25% it's not much but I'll take it and finally for all of the wonderful seeker mine healy dealy business that goes on with this specialist now for the build itself we are running a 717 which I would very much like to get the armor up a lot a bit more but running a skill build that's what we have to deal with from what I understand and the update dropping next week all of our base armor damages will go up so hopefully that will go up with it who knows if we'll have to rebuild or not but cross your fingers our weapon of choice is a custom p416 g3 you can use any assault rifle you want or you could use whatever else you want but we do need to have preparation and recharged on this weapon preparation kills grant plus five percent skill duration ammo and charge Charges to the next skill used max stack is 10 requires five or more utility recharged while equipped skills deployed at full armor have plus 25 percent duration charges and ammo now for both of these perks skill duration does not work for the foam launcher the only thing that these are extending are the seeker healer which is also important to it but this does not work for our foam launcher unfortunately the charges do stack and the charges do work the top amount of charges that I've gotten to was nine when I can only hold seven so this does absolutely work for our secondary weapon we are using a police mk17 with ignited deal 20% damage to burning enemies which is why we have the incendiary grenades hey I said it allegro plus 10% rate of fire rooted while equipped and in cover all skill damage and healing is increased by 25% for 10 seconds buff is lost when exiting cover can occur once per every 25 seconds now in the beginning of the video I actually didn't have this procced so your healing will be even insanely faster and better when you do actually have this perk procced and finally we have the sidearm which is an m45 a1 which I didn't do much to because I was out of crafting materials but the main reason we are using this is because of in rhythm while equipped enemy kills have a 5% chance to refresh active skill cooldowns can occur once every 60 seconds in all honesty I do do not think this is working as intended but actually working 
on our behalf because this happens more often than not. Now for PvP, you are going to want to switch out one of these holster talents for greased, which is swapping between weapons is increased by 10%. I will leave it up to you to decide which one you swap out, but you definitely should. So that way, after you spray your foam, you can whip your gun out faster. Uh, I seriously insert your mom joke here. I will honestly give you time. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll go. Just go ahead. <laughs> and now on to gear. For our mask, we are using a Providence Defense for the plus 10% skill power. Attributes, plus 22% damage to elites, which you will want a little bit of damage to elites for PvE and PvP, plus 256 skill power. And for the talent, we are using Capacitive, plus 20% skill duration. This is mainly for the Seeker Healy Ball. On to the chest piece, we are using a Fenris Group AB, mainly for the Assault Rifle damage which is plus 10% and the one attribute plus 683 to skill power because we do need a lot of skill power for this build along with that is plus 4.5% critical hit damage plus 3.5% headshot damage this has berserk on it which I know is getting nerfed and actually you will not be able to use with this build so honestly you could use whatever you want and then hard hitting again you could replace that too with whatever you want I was mainly just using this for the skill power roll and for the assault rifle damage do whatever you want here literally do whatever you want next up we have the holster which is a Douglas and Harding for the plus 5% accuracy which I actually finally got to replace attributes plus 700 skill power for the talents it is resigned killing a status effect enemy adds three rounds of a random special ammo into your sidearm can occur every 45 seconds I love this talent and you will continually stack special ammo in PvE and PvP and until you use it. It's just, this is an amazing talent, especially using Survivalist. It's really, really fantastic. Next up, we have the backpack, which is an Alps Summit Armament for the plus 10% cooldown reduction. Are you bored yet? Because yeah, I totally am too. Like, comment, and subscribe, so maybe one day, I don't know what'll happen from this. I'm sorry, I'll stop. Attributes, plus 6.5% critical hit damage and plus 17% cooldown reduction. Talents, skilled. Skill kills have a 20 25% chance to reset skill cooldowns requires six or more utility, which this does actually work when you kill somebody while they are ensnared. And then we have destructive plus 20% explosive damage, which that works for the incendiary grenades. <laughs> I said it again, but you can seriously change out either of these perks as well. I mean, skill does work, but not as much as you'd want it to. And destructive isn't quite working as well as you would want to either so you can swap these out if you would like might want to keep skill that is up to you next up we have the gloves which are a Raldi holdings for the plus 10% accuracy attributes plus 269 skill power and wicked plus 10% damage to status affected enemies requires four or more offensive you absolutely need to use this talent in PvE and in PvP there are no excuses no anything no swapping out this is a must for this build and finally we have the knee pads which are wyvern wear for the plus seven percent critical hit damage attributes plus 7.5 critical hit chance and for calculated kills from cover reduce skill cooldown by 20 percent which that does work for the seeker ball and for your foam launcher requires seven or more utility this is another pretty important perk to use and now on to the foam launcher itself which which is really honestly the most important part of this build. My skill power for the riot launcher is 2648, which I am upping with mods and whatnot on my armor, which allows me to use the mod for plus six ammo, which gives me seven in the end. Now the second mod slot is where it gets interesting. You can either put ensnare duration or you can put ensnare health. For PvP, you will want to use ensnare health. As of now, I have 3.5 seconds of duration for the ensnare. Now in reality, in PvP, it's really only lasting, I want to say like 2.5 seconds. And the ensnare health is what's doing it. But my ensnare health mod is on the low side because I deleted crap loads of them because I never thought I would actually use ensnare. So if you have higher valued mods, I would try using them. I have yet to be able to get one because Lord praise RNGesus, bows, 
Bray's crucifixion sign on the chest, but I have yet to be able to get one higher than what I have. So I would imagine you will be able to actually max out your timer for it. Now I do have a mod on my armor that's giving me plus 2% to duration of actual ensnare, which is bringing me up to 3.5. Regularly, you will probably be around 3. Now in PvE, you might as well just go with duration because it actually works now, which I am actually using the duration mod in the footage, but in all honesty, I do not see that huge of a difference. Now, Ensnare is actually getting buffed. They did not say how much time they are extending it for, for PvE only, but it's only going to get better. And that's it. This is very, 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 very valuable for PvP. And I highly recommend trying out this build and going and using it in PvP. Because I guarantee you, you are going to annoy the crap out of so many people using this. Especially if you are in a group. And especially if you put on Greased on. This will annoy the crap out of PvP people. I, I guarantee it. They're going to be like, why the hell are you using Ensnare? And then they're going to be frozen in time for three and a half seconds and be like, son of a motherless gout. Try it. Seriously, try it. Come back. Let me know how it works out. I'm really curious because I do not PvP. Did you actually know that when you restock, it will refill your chem launcher? Yeah, I didn't know that either. Anyways, I am done with all the YouTube drama, the this, the that, the you're copying my build, I'm copying your build, yada yada, I'm done with it. Don't make skill builds. There is so much drama going around between all the YouTubers, and honestly, I am removing myself from it. If somebody has a skill build like this, I didn't copy it because I didn't watch it. I will not watch it. I do not care. End of story. If somebody copies my build, hey man, more power to you. I hope you get the views. I hope you get subscribers and whatnot. Maybe, maybe, maybe you will throw a little shout out or a little acknowledgement if you did get the idea of the build from me if not hey man i'm not worried about it more power to you anyways guys i am so done with the drama i should not have called out will is gaming even though yeah he's a turd and literally copies everybody but i shouldn't have did it and i did it and i shouldn't have done it and that's it man i'm removing myself from all of this drama it is so ridiculous i don't want any part of it i never wanted any part of it and i got myself caught up into it and i don't even know why i'm not that kind of guy I'm really not. Either way, agents, that's all I got. I really hope you enjoyed this build. I hope you try it. I hope you use it. I really want to know how well it works out in PvP because I'm probably not going to use it in PvP even though I tried a little bit, but I know it will work. But let me know. I'm honestly very curious. Hit the old like button for me if you could. That would be super amazing. This channel has been growing so fast. It is absolutely mind-blowing. All of you subscribers have been keeping it so cool. And we have such a real, honest, amazing comment section with real, valid, valuable, actual comments. Suggesting what perks to change and everything. I would love to keep that up because that's amazing. It helps me out. It helps other people out. It's just overall been incredible and I love all of you guys. Hit the old like button, subscribe. I think I already said all that and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace!